well with other compositions that this is unexpected. It's the best of seven grand final. There's a lot of games ahead of us. If you're just tuning in, tell your friends, get them in here. The winner of this is going to BlizzCon. An explosive start already. Stormbow and Hammer of Justice straight away. Ira using that Trinket. Astral Shift getting very low on HP already. Voltrug using that Grounded Tome and that Earthen Shield Tome to make sure that they can stay alive right now. Full Fear as well. But they're going to have that Double Tremor Tome. That's going to be an excellent counter towards those Warrior Fears. And they're going to be having a lot of that cleave pressure themselves. The Enhancement Charm and popping the is trying to get so much damage popped onto Yosuke right now. He's getting really low. Needs to be careful against this Turbo Cleave. All right, Fresh getting wind sheared there. Oxygen getting fully feared into a hex. Good crowd control from the Gronks in this position. Despite being quite behind, they're trying to create some windows of opportunity, although they are running short. Nux and Iroh both getting bursted down. Volchok bounces back with that healing tide. Totem connecting some massive heals just in the nick of time as Fresh moves in for potentially forcing more cooldowns. Volchok, he's pushed up in center field. He may be looking to try and get hexes on Oxygen. He's been making his way across the map. He needs to be careful. He's getting close to the Rep held and Fresh. If he gets too close, he'll get stunned. And while stunned, he can't heal. It's a dangerous move that Volchok is making right now to try and get aggressive, going in and out, trying to max range. Yasuko on the back foot all of a sudden with limited defensive options. But the double stun combo from Mad Dog. Iro on the ropes, tipping low. Volchok trades out Spirit Link to recover. This is looking like such a bloodbath as, as predicted in these melee cleave matchups. Both teams just going ham at each other, doing as much cleave pressure as possible. Yours can get him very low. He doesn't have that die by the sword or the rallying cry, so he's relying on fresh and oxygen to keep him alive. And Ira is actually dropping very low. The ascendance comes out from Voltra to keep him alive. Hasn't got that safety net of the spirit link anymore. They need to be really careful against Mad Dog. All right, Fresh has Divine Shield. Should he need it? His Avenging Wrath is coming up in 10 seconds. Will he be able to hang on there? Nice double stun from Mad Dog. Perfect coordination as Nux dips dangerously low, trading out that die by the sword. And one by one, the Gronks' defenses start to crumble. Mad Dog are moving forward and very close to victory. The pressure still swinging in their favor as Nux is likely to fall. He disarms Yask. He leaps back, <laughs> tucking for cover, securing a fear as well. But I believe was pre-tremored. Nice move there by Oxygen, but Yask is still low. Spear Link has to be traded out on the side of Mad Dog as this fight continues to bounce back and forth. So much damage coming in from both teams right now. And and the slight bit of CC on each other's healers can be the downfall of the game. And Nux and Yosuke both don't have that parry right now. Grog's all at around half HP. They're getting that cleave pressure into Voldrock as well. He has to use that Astral Shift. He has no defensive cooldowns whatsoever. He, neither does Nux, so they're going to be on the back foot. They do have the safety net of the Enhancement Shaman heals, but at the same time, they need to be very careful. Nux getting caught out of position against Hodge behind line of sight. He is super low. Beautiful win shit into a Stormbow to Voltra. Can they get the win? He leaps away. Oh. Yosuke connects the Death Center's Execute, but it's not enough. Great hold by them, but he's still not out of the water. He gets blown up by Mad Dog with the mad damage. Indeed, they take game number one. And Mad Dog is sitting right behind us. They were clapping, they were screaming, they were... Find their way back with this Demon Hunter Moon King composition. I'm not sure if they'll be able to find it. It's going to be a trickier matchup for them uh, outside of the Druid KFC. We'll see exactly what's going to happen. Fitz starting the fight with some Cyclone, stalling down the pressure. Root Solar Beam, good cross crowd control. Incarnation, nice crowd control from the Gronks there, forcing Trinket from Fresh to get Oxygen out of that crowd control and start to breathe. Fitz now on the back foot at the reversal of this initial assault, and there's a ton of damage going his way. Nux also getting cleaved down. Mad Dog lead with immense pressure. That Warrior Retribution Paladin Cleave is doing so much damage. Forcing out the Urban Shield Totem immediately from Volchuk, gonna be putting him on the back foot. It looks like they're predominantly going on that Moonkin, cleaving down the Demon Hunter, and it will be interesting to see what Gronks decide to do. All right, Fitz, what are you going to do? There's a lot of pressure going towards you at the moment as Volchok gets windsheared. Oxygen's windshears throughout this tournament have been carrying the team. Normally, he plays Discipline Priest, so that aggressive playstyle is carried over quite effectively onto the Restoration Shaman. A couple more windshears like that. Fitz is going to be done in. He's had to trade Barkskin during this crowd control chain. It looks like Oxygen's caught into that Fell Eruption Mana Rift combination, but that Blessing of Wisdom almost completely counteracts it. The Gronks can't only rely on winning on mana. They need to also include cross crowd control and burst moments. Oxygen taking this opportunity to try and sneak away and get a drink, but with Starfall placed by Fitz, it will deny that mana recovery. 
Oxygen locked down into that solar beam. He does get sanctuaried out of it. Nicely done. A second before getting stunned. Instant reaction time by Fresh. They're just tunneling down Fitz and doing a lot of pressure onto him as well. He's going to be waiting for that incarnation and Oxygen going for those drinks. He knows he wants that long game. He wants to survive and be able to win this on mana if it comes down to it. But the pressure coming out for both these teams are very strong. Although all the Shamans have their defensive cooldowns, they're ready for any offensive play right now. I like this move by Fitz going into the starting room and dragging Yask into what would be the most open field position possible. This will also bait Oxygen to come off of the pillar so we, they can more easily get crowd control or switch to him. Oh. But now Nux is getting punished for overextending behind the pillar, forcing his trinket to get out of the stun. Now he will not have that option. If he overextends again, it could cost him his life. Mad Dog making swaps and finding every opportunity to punish. That was a great punish onto Nux at forcing his trinket blur with a simple hammer of justice. And now he's going to be careful for what he's pushing in aggressively onto Oxygen. And now Oxygen actually gets beamed up the double stun onto Fresh. And you're seeing so much pressure coming in now, forcing that bubble and yes. the die by the sword immediately. Great counter pressure from Grox right now, but Fitz needs to be careful. He's getting very low. He's in that bear form, uses that renewal, but Nux also doesn't have his trinket for quite some while. Excellent peels coming in from Fitz. Yes, amazing peels from the Gronks to stay alive at that critical moment. With that push, the Gronks have forced Divine Shield and die by the sword. Now both Fresh and Yask are highly exposed targets for the incarnation threat that Fitz has available in a small 10 second window. If they can execute perfect cross crowd control once again, it is unlikely that Mad Dog will survive that assault. Everything is in favor of the Gronks in this position. Nux is the only opening so long as he doesn't throw it away. He is overextended, but not out of line of sight. Fits with an instant decurse on that hex. Well-timed. Nux retreats to safety. They know their win conditions. Six more seconds on that solar beam. If everybody gets stun locked, it's unlikely they'll survive. Incarnation is ramping up. Fitz is getting ready. Oh. Solar beam, they need the stun. They don't get the stun in time. He's able to get out, but they follow up with Imprison. That's going to be a trinket spear link totem. There's still immense amounts of damage available from the Gronks. They could even switch to oxygen at this point. But because that stun, was one second too late. Fresh was able to break up the crowd control chain and deny a kill. They lost the potential kill opportunity right now, but they forced a lot of defensive cooldowns. So Mad Dog are going to be behind in that sense. But at the same time, Nox dropping lower and lower and lower. He needs to be careful. The blade dance to avoid the executes alongside with that urban shield totem. Going to keep him alive. But this over aggression from Nox needs to be with caution because every time he pushes in, Fresh and Yoss get punished. So they hammer of justice him away, get a lot of burst pressure and are looking to kill him him the entire game all right fresh what are you gonna do there's a lot of pressure here in game number two the Gronks have proven that they are masters of this composition they want to represent Australia New Zealand as they battle back in this best of seven grand final the winner of this goes to BlizzCon they claim the majority of the $50,000 prize there's a lot on the line ladies and gentlemen we haven't even stepped foot into dampening which is going to reduce the effectiveness of healing it's going to increase the stress of this match perfect crowd control here from the team of Gronks fresh responds by trinketing but even with that trinket not is leading the charge with immense damage. Fresh bounces back, avenging Wrath, boosting his not only his damage, but his healing, allowing him to immediately recover in that critical moment. And the Urban Shield Tome was used by Oxygen as well. That's going to absorb a lot of damage. And he's actually really behind on mana, so the mana of pain is way worth in gold. Although Fitz taking a bit of pressure right now. He has the Renewal, he has the Bark Skin. Voltrock has had those defensive cooldowns for quite some time. He uses that Earthen Shield Tome to reduce a lot of pressure right now. I just want to see them stop the drinks from Oxygen, and then it looks like they should be able to take this game on dampening, but they need to be careful uh, pushing in so that Nox doesn't get caught out without that trinket. The next objective is Fitz's solar beam in 10 seconds gets Oxygen's Trinket. After that, the next Solar Beam gets a kill. Let's see if they can properly execute. Gronks are at most two minutes away from victory if they can execute perfectly here through these next couple of moments. Solar Beam is now available. There's the stun, there's the beam. Perfect cross CC. Oxygen's not trinketing. That's a greedy decision. He's not gonna get punished. Imprisoned Trinket's into a hex. Volchok with perfect timing and Fresh will fall. The Gronks tying this series one to one.
That was a greedy, greedy play from Oxygen, but even if he trinketed... I've been using Hammer of Justice on him with Stormbolt on Volchok. It's not really a bad idea. Oh, okay, never mind. That was just a... <laughs> He's just changing that last second. You know, I thought there was some strategy there, but it's just... Oh, it was just the wrong pick. All right, Fitz. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that. All right, clone on Fresh from Stealth. Fitz trying to stall out the damage and build up Astral Power so that he can dump that into his hardest hitting attack, Star Surge. He's almost maxed out at this point. We see a triple stun, though, from Mad Dog. They are ready and waiting to gun down Gronks. Oxygen all Always tries to maximize with lightning bolts, but here we see an assault from Gronks. Triple crowd control, fresh trinkets to break up the chain, allowing Oxygen to freely heal. Nice teamwork by Fresh. Yeah, Gronks always doing that beam into double stun on the melee DPS, which is getting so much pressure. And Fresh trinket in that means he won't have it ready for the next one, meaning that they could get a lot of damage from that and potentially force the Divine Shield from him. But right now, they're trying to counter pressure that incarnation, slaying Fitz. The Urban Shield Home did come out from Oxygen as well, which is going to reduce a lot of that incarnation pressure. All right, in this position, Fitz and the team of Mad Dog are likely to take a lot of damage. They have to be careful. They don't want to throw away the game to just some pressure. Full crowd control chain secured by Mad Dog. Fitz in trouble, dipping low. Volchok connecting some heals just in the nick of the time to save his favorite chicken, Fitz. He's going to hang on. Solar Beam available in five more seconds. And they need to make sure that they perfectly cross nice. crowd control. Nox needs to go for a Chaos Nova. They've got the crowd control. They need to pull the trigger as soon as possible. There it is. Triple crowd control. How is Mad Dog going to respond? Voltrock is moving in for a cheeky hex off the back of that. This could easily be a divine shield from Fresh. He's being, he's gambling it. He's going to get away with the greedy play there. But one wrong move. You're down another game, suddenly you're in the last match and you're going home. These greedy decisions are a risky one, Joe. They are a risky one, but they are going to be needed if you want to take down Gronk. So I don't blame him at all for using that, only getting away with using that Urban Shield Tome to survive for now. And it looks like they're just going to completely tunnel fits into the ground. He does pre Earthen Shield Tome, that Stormbolt though, so that's going to negate a lot of pressure. Followed up by the Hammer of Justice, but him standing in that Tome, in that pair form, they're not going to too much damage. We saw the Hex from Volchok secure the win for his team in the last game. His aggressive moves are definitely going to be MVP throughout this series. Can Volchok keep up that extra crowd control that the team needs while still sustaining their health throughout the onslaught? Fresh has Avenging Wrath. He's just ready and waiting to pull that, but there's the Solar Beam triple stun. Fresh trinkets out to support Oxygen once again. Nice teamwork from Fresh. This allows Mad Dog to now start reversing the pressure. Avenging Wrath pops. Intimidating shout to Fear. Volchok will Way. Fitz trades out Barkskin to stabilize throughout this crowd control, and it looks to be more than enough. Oxygen trades out Earth and Shield to stabilize his team as well. Fitz still on the run. Volchok connecting some heals now. Oxygen repositioning, realizing that Volchok took his pillar to try and get cheeky hexes. Oxygen will shift to the opposite side. Fitz dipping dangerously low here. Volchok has a lot of work ahead of him, but with that earthen wall towed him down, it should reduce the pressure enough for him to re-stabilize throughout this double stun. Volchok has preemptively activated that earthen wall totem on not only one stun, but two in a row. In 10 seconds, we're going to have that incarnation from Fitz. No trinket on Fresh, no Urban Shield Tome from Oxygen. He will pro most likely have to use this trinket to keep them alive. If they get that set up with the incarnation, they'll be in a huge amount of trouble. And there's the imprisonment onto Oxygen. They're bursting right now. Nux even pushing in. Incarnation being used, but they didn't wait for the setup. And that means that Oxygen is going to kind of heal this for now. Although Fitz is free, they're not really running away. Fresh doing an excellent job running away, though, actually. Ooh. But gets caught in the double stun. A triple stun even into a cyclone onto Oxygen. This is going to be huge trouble for Fresh. He uses that Word of Glory to counteract that damage and keep himself alive. Fantastic crowd control there by Team Gronks. Unfortunately, not getting them too far ahead at the end of that. Just not enough damage to force too much. Nux appears to be trying to attack Oxygen, but he's walked into a trap. He's rooted up. He's going to be losing a lot of damage. Missing the Mana Rift as well. Nux needs to start to kind of clean that up. Volchok is falling behind on mana. Fitz goes for a solar beam, but there's no crowd control on the fresh. He's going to allow Oxygen to get out of that silence quite rapidly. Nice wind here from Oxygen onto Volchok, putting him slightly behind. Fitz in a bit of trouble, ducking for cover in bear form. 
reducing that incoming damage, but also increasing his healing that he receives as he has opted to not run Thorns to pick up some extra defensive talents with that Guardian Honor Talent, increasing the healing he takes when he's in bear form from his friends. Uh, it, it's a very defensive option, but I feel like the value of Thorns would be much higher in this position. Fitz is exposed. Volchok with no trinket. The next crowd control chain by Mad Dog could close this game out. Yeah, Mad Dog are looking so strong in this Warrior Rat, and these offensive lack of plays from Grogs, like you said, with the mana rift and not cleaning up their offensive play is making them fall behind. And Oxygen and Voltrog are actually even on mana when last game Voltrog was ahead by quite a lot. So that is a huge difference this game and dampening has just kicked in and both Shamans using the Urban Shield Tome right now. Nice as soon as that fades, that'll be huge trouble. That Hex on the Oxygen, he has to drink Ooh. it. He actually uses the Spirit Link as well, maybe a bit too early, and there could be a huge opportunity to kill Yosuke uh, in the next few minutes. That was, that was a big overlap. Blessing and Protection, that's out of the way. Oxygen's Trinket Spirit Link combo, that's out of the way. Yosk die by the sword, guess what? That's also out of the way. The Gronks have a massive win condition. Solar Beam is available. They're setting up, they're cloning fresh. If they can combo this together, this could be it for Mad Dog in game number three. Fitz is in position, great oh. crowd control. Yosk trinkets, but he's dangerously low. If they can continue the chain on Oxygen, they drop the ball. No, they go for the imprison. Yosk is desperately trying to kite for his life. There's nothing for him to survive, but Oxygen's healing. Will it be enough? I beam to activate that metamorphosis. This huge boost of damage. Oxygen, oxygen is trying to breathe oxygen to stay alive. They've managed to make it to the end of the tunnel. That burst window was a huge win condition for Gronks, but Mad Dog stay alive. They escape by the skin of their teeth, Sid, and using that Urban Shield Tome is going to mitigate a lot of that damage. But like I said, they still don't have that Die by the Sword. They still don't have that Spirit Link. They've still got a high mountain to climb if they're going to take Gronks out. But it looks like they're going to stabilize right now. Slaying Fitz, just pretty much tunneling him down. Getting some cleave pressure over onto Nux as well. He has the wall breaker. He just uses it. He's getting a lot of pressure on the fits. He uses the incarnation though. He's trying to reverse it. It gets countered by the ascendants, but Ooh. will it be enough? Both Yosuke and Fresh are very low. The word of glory comes out. Fitz dropping low now as well. Both teams on high. They're just taking so much damage. I can't believe this is happening. Fitz is just trying to slay them with this incarnation. He has the basket and the renewal if needed. Voltrek has the link. He may need to use it. There's that spirit link from Voltrek and all of a sudden Mad Dog are back in this. Volchok tried to preemptively tremor totem an intimidating shout and it might still be available. Volchok has to trick it. Suddenly both teams in a oh. lot of trouble with this crowd control secured. Fresh has to Divine Shield. They get a hex. There's no trinket for two more seconds. That Divine Shield is shortly going to be fading. Fresh could be in trouble. He's got eye for an eye. He's holding on to it. Oxygen still getting crowd controlled. Gronks is rotting down. Volchok has ascendance though at this perfect moment to top his team if he decides to activate it. He's holding on to it. He's being quite greedy in this position. Nice Cyclone on Yask. That's going to give Volchok a lot of room to breathe and start to stabilize his team. Mana basically tied. Dampening starting to mount to a high level at 17% healing reduction. Things are only going to get more stressful from this point in the match. Solar Beam available. 18 seconds. What do they have to answer? They've got Ooh. a trinket, but at this point, Fitz is the one who's in trouble. Trades up Barkskin. They switch over to Nux. He's in trouble. Volchok caught in crowd control on his most powerful oh. defensive. Nux has to trade out Darkness. If he gets unlucky. He could just die through it. Voltrock needs to get some big heals going right now. Solar Beam's available. They have to pull the trigger on that. If they don't get a kill, they are immensely far behind. Double stun. The Solar Beam to follow it up, but it was dwarf ratioed by Oxygen. Now he's got the Earthen Wall totem down for both team. Fitz actually kites out of it. He's trying to make his way back into that damage reduction. He does not want to overextend. At this point, Joe, it's anyone's match. It is anyone's match. 20% damage. Fitz dropping lower and lower. Fresh dropping lower and lower. I'm not sure who's going to stay alive. Both Shaman's mana also dropping lower. The healing tie comes out from Oxygen as well as the Spirit Link. He just wants to keep them aggressive onto Fitz so that they can hopefully kill him because if they don't kill him soon, I think Gronks could take this one. All right, Fitz. The pressure is on. No bark skin for three more seconds. He's trying to kite Fresh into a bad position. Fresh, if he overextends, it's a gamble, but he's got Avenging Wrath up. He needs to make the risky push and go for the kill. Is he going to find enough damage? Fitz deflects with that bark skin. Nux is trying to counter pressure them away with Metamorphosis, but Fitz is still on the run. Is he going to be able to survive the pressure of Fretz? As Fitz, damage is just so high. Dampening is so high at this point. Both shamans are completely tapped on mana. Fitz has managed to make a getaway, looking to maybe get some crowd control here, but they don't stun Fresh. That's a 
blunder by Gronks. A missed opportunity that could potentially cost them the match. Yeah, and the Urban Shield Tome was forced though, but Voltrek is completely out of mana, and he's gonna need that in order to keep Fitz alive, because right now he's taking so much damage from Fresh and Yosuke. They're getting ready to clean him up, and they really want to get him into that execute range and finish him off. He's so close to die, and Voltrek has no mana in the tank. They're trying to reverse the pressure with the Incarnation. Yosuke has that die by the sword. I really want to see him use it if he drops lower and lower. Fresh has no bubble, no spirit link. They're relying on this ascendance, but both shamans are completely out of mana. Oh, but oh. still getting lower as well as Fresh. I don't know who's going to go down, Sid. It's impossible to call at this point. It could just be everybody dying at this point. Dabony is so high. The defensive cooldowns have burn, been burnt out. Volchok has spirit link oh. totem. Oxygen doesn't. Fresh needs eight more seconds. He's trying to kite away. Is he going to be able to escape? Five more seconds. Four more seconds. Ducks around the corner. Oh. Fitz is in trouble. This could be a cross kill. Oxygen got interrupted, but Fitz is in execute range. Fitz will fall. Nox is going to keep playing it out. Oxygen is tapped. The Oscar is in trouble. Let's get protection. But there's no man in a purge off. He purged it off. The demon under purge was enough to remove it. Yosk is so dangerously low at this point with dampening ramped up, but it looks like Fresh is slowly able to get some extra healing to re-stabilize the team. Everybody just chill out. Mad Dog back to full and now lead the series 2-1. to one. They do lead the series 2-1 to one after... Mad Men right now just slaying the lower bracket and looking to slay this finals against Grox going 2-1 up. And they're sticking with this Warrior Retribution Paladin Restoration Shaman composition right now, opening onto Nugs, waiting for Fitz to go. And there it is, Joske immediately on him, looking to just pressure him down. And there's the double stun, but no beam right now because Oxygen was line of sighting and a nice wall banner there from Joske as well. A lot of pressure coming in from Fitz using that wings from Fresh. This not really good. It forces the Urban Chill Totem. Double stun comes out. Looks like they'll be okay for now. Yep, we see a stun on Oxygen. Actually gets the Sanctuary and. Their crowd control was a bit botched at the start by Gronks, but Fresh trinketed anyway, which was a massive error on his part. That was the trinket they wanted to get if they had properly executed, oh! but Fitz is in trouble. <laughs> Tons of damage from Mad Dog, and at any point, the Gronks could just be eradicated, it appears, in this matchup. Fitz is desperately trying to kite to a better position, Oops. potentially jumping downstairs to line of sight oxygen. Fresh doesn't want to overextend. He's waiting for Oxygen to catch up before jumping down. Fitz now in a lot of trouble. Nice wind shear. That might just close the game. Fitz in trouble. Spirit Link Totem traded out by Volchok. Mad Dog look like an entirely different team today. They are just dominating the competition. Gronks need to clean up their game if they want to stay in this. They're cutting this boomkin like paper. They're just completely chomping him through these defensive corners. The Urban Shield Totem now comes out as well. Would have liked to see that Stormbolt saved a bit, but Fitz is still around half. HP. Voltrop just struggling like crazy to keep him alive, but there's the double stun. They need to get those offensive goes because sometimes the best defense is a best is a better offense. So having those beam double stun goes is really what is the only thing putting Mad Dog behind. And each time they fail that, Mad Dog get closer and closer to victory. Fresh and Yask have started to realize the only threat to their lives is that incarnation metamorphosis or solar beam. If those options aren't available, they play hyper aggressive in the face of Fitz, dealing tons of damage, which is exactly what they need to be doing. Oxygen a bit out of position. Fitz has been getting good kite. He can jump downstairs to line of sight. It's surprising that he hasn't already. Nux has actually been rooted for some time over there. Would have liked to see a dispel by Volchok onto that root. Nux was taken out of the fight. Yas going Ooh. in for crowd control. Volchok opts to trade his trinket, but Fresh is going to commit the Avenging Wrath regardless. Fitz ducks for cover downstairs. Oxygen's out of position, so Fresh is a little bit reluctant to go downstairs just yet. He waits for Oxygen, then makes the move. Fitz in trouble. Stun lock on Volchok. Will Fitz survive is the question as the pressure mounts higher and higher. They use that Urban Shield Tome, and there's the beam and double stun finally. Fresh having to trinket this time. No misplay there, but now the trinket's out of the way. They need the next beam and double stun to count because if they don't do that Mad Dog will just pull ahead in this game and continue to slay them but it looks like Nux is actually opting to go onto Oxygen right now although Fitz seems to just be taking so much damage and that Shield of Righteousness as soon as it procs it, did, it deletes Fitz so they need to be careful not to proc that onto him.
All right, Fitz. He's been kiting very well on this map using this downstairs line of sight. Every he's keeping track of oxygen and going to the opposite side. This way, Fresh can't always stay on target. The damage slows down and allows Volchok some opportunity to breathe and recover. Fitz's positioning has been phenomenal. He's played Shadow Priest in the past. Now switching over to Balance Druid, and he's definitely showcasing his mastery on it. But they need to get their aggressive plays nailed down. They need this Solar Beam in seven seconds. They need the Chaos Nova on both Yask and Fresh. Good kiting from Fitz. But unless they can get that crowd control, they're not going to land a kill. Fitz kiting them into a bad position behind the pillar. Oxygen getting earth grabbed by Volchok out of line of sight. The waterfall coming down at a critical moment. Nux is moving in, but Fresh splits up. This is amazing by them, but they go for the single oh. stun. Yask is open. He can peel if he needs to, but he doesn't even need to. Fresh survives that crowd control window. Fitz is in trouble. They are in trouble, and the double fist secured onto Vulture and Nux. He doesn't have his trinket. Fitz needing to pop that box in, and he's the one being in the defensive position, even though he popped his own incarnation. And Vulture, you also use that Urban Shield totem. He's going to run out of it again, doing excellent kind, forcing Yosuke and Fresh into bad positions, which ultimately forces Oxygen to push in as well in a bad position. All right, Mana is looking even in this matchup, but the Gronks want to stay ahead on it. We've also not been talking too much about Nux. He needs to be landing more Mana Rifts. Fresh in trouble. Lots of damage. How's he gonna trade it out here? Looks like he's gonna get oxygen out of that crowd control, but gets cloned at reasonably low health. Also on his Avenging Wrath. That's a very well-timed Cyclone by Fitz. It's gonna be very annoying for oxygen and fresh. Nux though in this Earth Grab. Nice dispel from Volchuk. Nux moving his way over. Volchuk and he swapped to his Mad Dog. Make a Ooh. surprise attack towards the healer. Trying to catch him off guard, but he is not going to be caught off guard. Trading Astral Shift and easily surviving. Now Fitz getting swapped to Mad Dog all over the place, trying to find an opening. Volchok deflects with the Healing Tide. Nice crowd control execution here by the Gronks. That gets Fresh's Trinket. Now in another 54 seconds, they keep, need, they keep needing to repeat this. If they mistime their crowd control, if Fresh is able to dodge it by moving away, or Yas can break it up whatsoever, Mad Dog are looking like they can march to victory deep into dampening. Indeed, they need to keep repeating that if they want to win this game. And without that, Fresh and Yosuke are just going to completely crush Fitz into the ground. Even though he's doing an excellent job, Kai, and they're still connecting, doing a ton of pressure. And ultimately, both Shamans, once again, are pretty even on mana, despite the mana risk. But again, due to that Blessing of Wisdom, he's going to be kind of stabilizing in mana. All right, mana completely even. Earthen wall totems have been burned through. Volchok's locked down and crowd control fits us in trouble. Jumping into bear form to get that boost of durability and kiting with travel form. But Yask and Fresh are in hot pursuit. Fitz is in position to jump downstairs and line of sight oxygen. Solar beam available in three more seconds. Fitz is getting ready to set that up. Nux needs to coordinate it with him. Oxygen's out of line of sight. Nux is moving forward, maybe for a stun. There's the Solar Beam, but he's out of position. Uh -huh. He was able to use his Dwarf Racial, actually. Oxygen escaping that, but Hex, maybe. Volchok not able to get that. Nice line of sight by Oxygen. Good awareness. Not getting caught off guard in what has been a very long struggle for Mad Dog to make it to the finals. They're still on point. They're looking on point, indeed. And once again, Gronks with a bit of a misplay. Not timing those Beam and Double Stuns well, which is going to cost them dearly, and it could cost them this game, and ultimately cost them this finals and that BlizzCon spot on the line so they really need to shape those up even though Fitz is doing an excellent job kind but now the urban shield time used to counteract that wings from fresh he's still very low on hp needs to be careful falling into that execute range of yoska's warrior right there and Volta just doing whatever he can to keep them alive blizzcon on the line fifty thousand dollars as well there is a lot at stake in this match as the best teams from Australia and New Zealand go head to head. Mad Dog lead 2-1. Their play has been phenomenal. Gronks has as well throughout the tournament, but they're starting to show signs of weakness in this finale. The coordination is lacking. The damage just isn't there. They're leading a charge right now to try and go after Yask. Yask trades defensives to re-stabilize in this position, but still in trouble. Nice execution by the Gronks there, forcing vital defensives from Mad Dog and creating an opening moving forward once again forcing that trinket from fresh and now forcing that dire by the sword of yosuke does open up big opportunities for them to slay them with that incarnation later on or the annihilation moving into dampening now as well both shamans are going to be losing out on mana and not be able to top off their teams making it incredibly hard to keep them alive yosuke making a move nice double stun combination by mad dog making a swap over on nux trying to catch him off guard also keeping their pressure up on fitz both members in trouble dampening ramp up the mana is being taxed and at this point it's almost all or nothing 
Will Volchok be able to get a game-winning Hex like he did earlier in the series is the question. Stun on Oxygen. That gets Sanctuary. That's now no longer available for the Soul Ring. Oh. Nice Hex by Volchok. This is exactly what they needed to try and find a window. Unfortunately, it breaks early to the damage over time effects. That could have been an opportunity to force Divine Shield, but now they're going to miss it. Stun on Volchok. Fitz dips low. He dashes away. Vol Yaskin hot pursuit. Nux trying to counter pressure fresh away. He's not going to overextend. Oxygen caught in the crowd control. Nice execution once again, interrupting the cast of Oxygen, regardless of that Dwarf Rachel. Nice follow-up with the Imprison. That Dwarf Rachel may end up costing Oxygen in the game. He can't trick it out of crowd control. Fresh is down at half, but they've got Fitz pinned down in bear form. He just can't counter pressure despite that amazing crowd control chain. They had amazing crowd control, uh, crowd control onto Oxygen there, but unable to force that Divine Shield is going to put them further behind. 23% dampening both Nux and Fitz, taking so much pressure Volchuk having to use his trinket there on the fear. The Urban Shield time comes out as well. He needs to top both of them. Nux does have his Blur if needed. Fitz has that renewal, but no Baskin available. Only that Spirit Link. They need to be very, very careful. High dampening coming in, and it's going to be very difficult to outheal the the damage of Mad Dog. Ooh, Nux is actually going after Oxygen, trying to make a solo kill on his own. Now, immediately coming back to his partner's side as Fitz is stunlocked and in trouble. Volchok gets out of crowd control, connects a couple heals. Solar Beam is available. They need to net a kill on Yask with this, but I'm not sure they have enough time to do it. Nice double stun, fresh trinkets out to break up the Solar Beam. Now that that's been thwarted, Gronks are in trouble. Volchok is tapped on man, a nice wind shear by Oxygen. Fitz ducks for cover, but Yask and Fresh are all over him. There's so much dampening with dampening so high. I'm not sure how much longer Volchok can keep this up. He's locked down by Fresh. Fitz is in trouble. Stormbolt in, he drinks, he runs for cover. Yask is still the only target they can kill, but that's a window they've only got for 15 more seconds. If Oxygen can keep Yask going that long, it is unlikely that the Gronks will be able to push them over the edge. Volchok, I don't know how you're doing it, but he's actually managed to recover his team's health. Oxygen now almost tapped on mana. Fitz pumps that in card. He needs to get some work done. He needs to completely destroy them right now. Otherwise, there's going to be no hope. Yoskid, knowing that, pops that die by the sword early. I like this move from him. It's going to mitigate a lot of damage. Fresh, however, in trouble. He has that safety net of the Divine Shield in case he takes too much damage. But right now, Fitz is going to be on the back foot. He has to sit in that bear form, which is a position he doesn't want to be in. A Triple Fear coming out from Yosuke, a huge Triple Fear oh, that no! might just net them the kill onto Fitz. The Darkness comes out, but I'm not Woo! sure if it's going to be enough. The Spirit Link has to be used as well. Overlap with these huge defensives, 34% dampening. Both teams just completely oh. running now. The Shamans can't keep them alive, but surely Fitz goes down here. He uses the Bark Skin. Yosuke just needs to finish him. He needs to be able to get in range, but he's getting finished himself. The Rallying Cry comes out for him to survive. Both teams getting lower and lower. I'm not sure who's gonna take this one, Sid. These Cyclones from Fitz are the only thing standing in between his team's defeat. How much longer can Volchok keep this going? Both Shamans are tapped. Defensive cooldowns have been burned, and at this point, it's anyone's match. It could even be a cross kill, potentially, for either side. Dampening going up to critical mass. Almost 40% healing reduction in this match, and Yas is in trouble. Fitz is in trouble. Oh. Who will fall first? I'm not <laughs> sure. Oxygen, he survived. Stormbolt though on Volchok. Nice double stun. Nux could be in trouble. Surely. Fitz needs to get some heals or peels going at this point, but with dampening so high, can he actually do it? Double stun! Solar beam up in one more second! Yask is still the only viable kill target! Oxygen locked down crowd control. Fresh supports him, breaking him out of it. It's a race to the finish at this point, ladies and gentlemen. BlizzCon on the line, $50,000 on the line, and they're battling their hearts out to stay alive, but Fitz is ultimately, I believe, going to fall! No! Nux gets swapped to the full Fear is oh, going to finally, finally let the dogs loose as they move to match point. Mad Dog take the game. They are 3 1 up. And if you're a fan of them, they need it. This is the last chance. Mad Dog one game away from BlizzCon. I'm not going to lie. I want to see this go all the way to a game seven. Both of these teams so evenly matched with phenomenal performances here at the APAC finals. We see Gronks with nice crowd control early on. Nox is gunning down for the healer, trying to put some pressure, but Fresh is punishing him. Stunning him behind the pillar, popping all of his cooldowns and trying to counter pressure. Nux is forced to retreat back in line of sight of Volchok. He does not want to throw the game away by overextending. Despite that initial crowd control, they do not force any vital defensives. Blind now on Oxygen. 
It gets Blessing of Protection by Fresh, but now that's not available for the Vendetta, potentially, by Nux. This decision from Fresh is an opening for Gronks to punish. Gronks have been doing amazingly well just early as well. Volshock pre-Tremor told him the fear, meaning that Yosuke couldn't have that offensive opportunity onto Nux. So Gronks already start in this game on fire. The Hammer of Justice on the Nux with the Stormbow and Volshock. They're just crushing the Rogue right now. The Urban Shield Totem comes out, going to reduce a lot of pressure, but it looks like Nux is also going to kite full Hex onto Fresh with the Dispel from oxygen into a kidney nice. shop fit nice crowd control from grunks it looks like they're gonna try and stay auction but he does preheat the time Whoa! wouldn't it be enough though he has to astral shift as well he gets sanctuary out of that silence a lot of defensive cooldowns used it Yes, and Fitz is still in a good position. They haven't traded out any defensives with this Vampiric Embrace. Fitz can heal his team and support during this next double stun lock. Well-timed by Fitz, allowing them to stabilize. Nice wind shear on Oxygen. If they've got a kidney shot off the back of this, it could be devastating. Doesn't seem to be the case, unfortunately. The kidney shot one second too late. I'm not sure if this is long enough to really net a kill. Fresh is getting a lot of extra off healing into this. Maybe it is enough to force the Spirit Link Totem. Oxygen's yeah. gambling it. Dipping dangerously low, but will recover now. Nux on the back foot, forced to trade out evasion. Each team is continuing to swing. The Gronks are falling behind on mana and now falling behind on vital defensive cooldowns. Sharpen Blade. Nux is in trouble. How is Volshock going to handle the pressure? It's match point. BlizzCon on the line. He had to use that Urban Shield Totem as well as the Healing Tide. Huge defensives now on the side of Gronks going down, but they make a huge swap over to Yosuke as well. This game is just going back and forth using those offensive cooldowns and having those offensive plays from both teams. It's a pleasure to see, and Yosuke is going to be fine right now. He has that safety net to die by the sword as well as fresh with that divine shield and both shamans have a lot of their cooldowns so they should be okay for now but this is a very explosive match and every time they're doing this the storm with the hammer of justice on the nux huge burst pressure on the nux a full fear on the vulture Whoa. this could just be it if they can follow this up i oh. think it'll go down he actually hexed nice. the, sh the shadow priest to stop that live swap but he used this trinket what? to use it and he still what? died that was ins uh, insane damage coming out from mad dog with that warrior retribution paladin four in the link as well, going through the life swap. Okay, Gronks need a miracle. Everything what? is in favor of Mad Dog. Blizzcon is on the line. Nux Shadow steps for the miracle kill. Oxygen Trinkets. He doesn't want to choke. He doesn't want to throw away the potential. They've burned through all of the defensive lineup of Gronks. They are just moments away from advancing to Blizzcon. Uh -huh. Nice life grip. Nux ducks for cover around the corner. Volchok looking for some cheeky hexes. They need a miracle crowd control chain. They need a miracle play. They've only got one opening to take Yask down moving forward, but the pressure is still mounting. In favor favor of Mad Dog, which you're secured, and Nux is in trouble. Blind kidney shot. This is the miracle. This has to net a kill, or they're going to be losing. It does. <laughs> they do it. They pull off the miracle and stay alive in the finals. Krogs pull it back with the RPS composition. That clean setup. It was the last straw. Thousand dollars on the line. BlizzCon on the line. Can Gronks do it, ladies and gentlemen? We're gonna be getting into this new map as well. Oh, oh no! An immediate earth grab onto Nux. Beautiful read that by Oxygen. That's gonna put Grogs behind, not having that opener. And a hammer of justice with a Stormbow. So Whoa! Much pressure happening. Those shield. Oh my goodness. He completely used every defensive cooldown. The Fate Evasion and Cloak of Shadows coming up by Iron Blade. That was an absurd amount of pressure coming in. I need a second. I need a second. I think, I think Nux needs a second. I'm not even the one competing, and I need a second. Nux is down at half. Oxygen's blinded. Gronks need a miracle. They are completely against the wall. It's still max points. They're at the worst possible position that they could ever be at in this series, and they have to make it work. Double stun. Winter on fits. Perfect crowd control. Nux triggers out. He's still in trouble, though, with no defensives. Volchok, high pressure situation. Can the Gronks do it? Nux is moving over. They're trying to get Oxygen into the fight for some crowd control. They go for the second screen, but it was war bannered. They don't kill it off. A missed play by the Gronks. They're already in the worst position. They can't afford these mistakes. This is a dire start for the Gronks. No defensive cooldowns apart from that Spirit Link from Voltruck. Nothing for 30 seconds. Nux is going to be in huge trouble right now. They need to find an opening, but they're just unable to. They have just lost this minute. I can't even predict it. Worse than and now there's the Stormbow energy once again fits again trinket in that hex with a live swap to save nux but right now they need to find offensive momentum you can tell that mad dog are ready to go to blizzcon <laughs> this is an insane amount of damage they feel robbed by the last victory of the gronks and they're looking to stomp them out move forward to blizzcon nux is trying to develop some momentum onto oxygen but not really finding any openings 30 more seconds on volchok's trinket he really needs that to connect his spearling totem the next double stun could easily close the game out 
shots. Fitz is locked in crowd control. Voltron pops a send as Yoss moves over. That's oh. the double stun. There's nothing standing between Mad Dog and BlizzCon oh. except for some clutch heals by Voltron. He's caught into the fear. Double cross CC. Oh. Nux kidneys to deny oh. the execute for one more second, but it's not oh. enough. Mad Dog are going to BlizzCon. Mad Dog are the champions of the Asia Pacific region. They do go to BlizzCon. 4-2 victory over the Grogs people jumping up onto the stage, cheering the jubilation on the faces of Mad Dog. They were the number three seed coming into Australia and New Zealand. And now they are your champions, the Apex champions 2018, Mad Dog. <sighs> you see what it means to them on the stage. Still the sportsmanship in this region. It's the most beautiful thing to see. Yeah. All the Australians here, such nice blokes. And even after a series like that, the hugs, the genuine compassion between these teams. But Mad Dog are your champions. It's, it's been an unbelievable tournament throughout this entire day. I am more than pleased with the level of competition that APAC brought this weekend. It's been incredible. I cannot wait to see Mad Dog represent their region against the best from North America, against the best from Europe. And you can see it on your screen, folks. Mad Dog in the lower bracket from round one, losing 3-0 to Give It earlier on. They were able to overcome all these obstacles, including Give It in the lower bracket semifinals. And now they are your champions. They are the team winning the lion's share of that 50,000 US dollars. And most importantly, they are the team representing Asia Pacific at BlizzCon 2018. Huge commendations to these guys. Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.